Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we got the blue-shelled Koopa, Cooper, from Koopa Village, which is more of a village, more of a village in Koopa Village here than it ever was in Koopa, in Goomba Villa. There's only one house. There's only one family. It is not a village if there's only one. <laughs> Who's the mayor? <laughs> Anyways, we are here at the Koopa Bros Fortress. We arrived here last time. We had the very spooky music, but because I saved and quit, uh, for reasons, I'm going to reveal that the title card you guys have been seeing, the one where it zooms in and it shows chapter one again, that was done after completing the first five episodes, so... In this episode, we're finally back. So I have two play files of this game. <laughs> and uh, one of them is in fact... Uh, one is in fact farther now because I have it set up to record chapter two. Get rid of the bomb. Because there's gonna be more, don't worry. Okay. So, we got ourselves the fortress key. This is our first dungeon, by the way, so. We're going to be coming across a couple of puzzles. This isn't really too puzzle heavy though. Because it's the first dungeon. So all we have is be able to attack from a distance. Let's tattle the babam. This is a babam. Babam. Oh. <clears throat> Bombs are pretty temperamental, and they get steaming mad when you attack them. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. You'd better not jump on them when they're angry, or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items, like hammers. Or you could send the- or you can send other thing- Bleh. Send in other things, like shells. If they attack when they're angry, They'll charge in and explode, so you better take care of them before they blow. So, just as he recommended, we don't even need to do full damage to the bombs. All we have to do is hit, and like, he's the last one, so I. You shouldn't do that because your partner then becomes unavailable for that amount of turn of damage. Now that we've done the bomb, and this is why Cooper is very useful because with the power of flower. He can blow up multiple bombs at once. Do, 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 ba, ba, ba. So we met Black, uh, Black Ninja Koopa at the entrance. Here's Green Ninja Koopa, who is trying to hide a key behind a gate. Ah! Yeek! Mario! You, uh... Don't try anything, you'll never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya. I was definitely above the Koopa shell, but sure. Shell toss. And I do want to do nothing. 
Ah, uh, the b bomb jump is slower than I'm expecting. Actually, I'm attacking slower than I'm expecting. You only need to do a hit. Uh, it should be noted that my personal file I'm doing to get the title cards is just... I want that. Is uh, leveling up differently than what I am planning on doing here. Let's power jump. Much better. And then we'll shell toss the Koopa Troopa. There we go. Okay, we're doing much better. Shell. Toss. Do. Oh, shoot. Okay, so. This is kind of a secret. The Koopa got out, so you can actually shove yourself in and get power bounce early. You... I find that you won't actually use power bounce until later anyway, so... That is okay. Jump. We'll get rid of Koopa. Keep shaking my leg. I don't know why, but it's like... I'm not sure if you see anything on the webcam. Of like, it feels like I'm doing this when I know I'm not. Boom! One more battle and we level up! You know you're over leveled for an area when the enemies stop giving you experience, so please keep note of that. I was going to use an item in this battle, but because I'm already going to get a full health reboost, it doesn't matter if I take too much damage in the fight, because I'll be uh, healed at the end anyways. So, we're just gonna... This is kind of how I play Paper Mario as well, is I attack everything. I have the item Fright Jar, but I don't ever utilize it. Primarily because I find it unnecessary to use. You don't get the star points if you scare the enemies away. That's why there are abilities later on that do the same thing. That still just prevent me from uh, getting the best outcome. I always forget how to open the badge menu. Okay. So, we're able to add three points worth, which is really just one badge, based on my current lineup. Power Bounce lets you attack one target multiple times. HP plus gives you plus 5 HP. And Dizzy Attack gives you the ability to spin into an enemy and it initializes the attack as a Dizzy Attack. We are going to add Power Bounce because I don't need health at this very moment. And depending on where we get to, I suspect we'll get to the top of the fortress.
Let's swap to Goombario because I know where we are next. This is a cool visual effect. The walls are like a paper stamp or something. Not what I was hoping for. There we go. Let's get rid of one. And now we'll get rid of the other. So that was one Koopa Paratroopa, one Koopa. This is two Koopa Paratroopas. The power bounce is really useful. There we go, and then the last one, I... Th so, as you can tell, Koopa Troopas now only give us one star point. It means that we are almost at the same level as them. What I'm going to display right here is the formula of how star points are generated in Paper Mario. And that's kind of a universal calculation now. So every enemy has a particular level that you can encounter, and if you are at that level, they will, or below that level, they give you star points that follow this formula here. If you don't, uh, I'm trying to... Describe it. If you are at or above the level, they don't give star points. So you technically can't over level yourself to the enemies in the room. Not that that would matter anything. You don't have a way of really stopping battles at this time. This is a fun little jump puzzle. You could just run through or... If you jump multiple times, you can blow up the fire bar and get yourself a healthy number of coins. Now, I like being at the front. Because it kind of helps me time a bit better. There are two fire bars in this room and we have a key. Now, if you didn't do that, now you'd have to avoid the fire bars on your way back. That's kind of why I attack and destroy the fire bars, so that I don't have to worry about that at all. We're gonna now use the spin. I believe enemies stay defeated until you leave the room. You probably saw that I ignored that door that's down below. That is because we will be seeing that room in just a minute. Yellow Ninja Koopa. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. Off he goes. So, he is clearly tampered with that platform. Right down here, if you come down, you'll find yourself a save and a treasure chest that we cannot get. I don't need to save because we're doing pretty good. Uh, it should be noted if you die, it is game over. You go back to your previous save. It's not one of those games where 
Oh, I should show this. Oh! I thought the door was locked. Well, this is why we can't go any further. There is a lock on that door. But I thought when you approach this door, it says, huh, this door doesn't seem to open, which incites you to hit the only other item in this room, the block, which swings us down. Swing low. Bah -ha -ha -ha. Losers, serves you right. You fell for it. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm up a bomb. Pleased to meet you. So let's talk to some of the other bombs here. All of us but bombs got locked here in, got locked in here by the Koopa Bros. Nothing we could do about it. The Koopa Bros used to be cool, but they got conceited because Cammy Koopa likes them. Before they were just typical young guys from Koopa Village. They were nice enough. I think maybe their desires for adventure corrupted them. That's usually how it works, yeah. I'm sorry, I simply will not obey tyrants anymore. Those Koopa Bros can't squash the pride of a ba -bomb. So, I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Hmm, the angles, vectors. Ugh, it's so complicated, my head's going to explode. Okay. Oh, how long do we have to be locked up here? I'm losing hope, and I'm so hungry, so sad, and mad, angry. I'm filling with rage. I'm really angry now. I want out, out right now. You hear me, Koopas? I hope that was over dramatic for you guys. Those stinking Koopas worked us way too hard. They're making us work for 25 hours a day. I guess that can work because my regular work shifts can range between 8 and 14 hours. So, I mean, if they're working 25 consistent hours a day, then yeah. This is not saying that it's not working multiple days, just 25 hours in a work day. Nobody's life should be all work, right? I need free time to make my mark on the world. Boom! And now we're back to Bombette. What's that? Why am I locked up in here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa bros. I was just one of many bombs working here. But those Koopa bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the Babombs because they thought they might rise up. You know, a Babom rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get you get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Oh, how nice, Heart. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. 
Bombette joined your party. Press down to make the bomb Bombette walk for a short time, then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her bomb body slam ability, or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, puff, puff. Take cover! They put you in the perfect position that you can blow up the crack without moving. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Huh? Oh, an escape route! Well, I, I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, let's get out of here right now. And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa Bros. So now these guys have new text boxes. Don't worry about us, Mario. We'll find a way out. All that thinking and I never thought of blasting the wall. You're pretty darn smart. Let's get out of here. I was sad, mad, but now glad. Freedom! Yahoo! So make sure you have full health. I am going to demonstrate Bombat in this next battle, but we probably won't see her much in Koopa Bro Fortress. Uh, just because of some inconveniences. In case you put bombs for God, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, except in the case of emergencies. What in the... Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him! So let's swap to Bombat and Bomb. Bombat, Bombat is our uh, powerhouse. She is going to do the most damage. I'm getting the timing of the bomb terribly. And this one's funny because you, uh, Bombat blows up and then she blows up again because she's a bomb. And there we go. So, what I want to do now is with Bombat, we're going to backtrack just a little bit. Let's get the key. But there's also more we can get with Bombette right now if we just go outside of the fortress uh, real quick. Now the reason why I'm going out of the fortress is because I do want the enemies to respawn as well. I want to try to get as many uh, star points as I can before leaving. Which will be very helpful in the long run. So let's restore our flower points. Drop Bombat here. And we have ourselves access to the pipe. And I am going to be replacing points for this badge. Because it's flower points plus. So the other badge that I was thinking of at the time... Let's do payoff still. Uh, the other 
badge, the other flower point badge I was thinking of in Forever Forest, which is the third chapter, is your second flower point badge. So, now we're gonna jump back to Cooper, and the reason why we did that is now we can actually use PowerShell three times rather than just once. And bomb three times rather than just once. In our badge exclusive run that we are performing, things like that are important. Do 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 So this is actually going to be very useful now. I don't believe the basement restocks on the bad guys though. Uh, what I'm gonna end up doing after this battle is when I get into these battles, I'm just gonna cut it now. And the reason why is because, um, there's really no reason to re- Reshow these battles the enemy teams aren't any different than the first time around because they're not randomly generated They are static enemy encounters secondly uh, It'll just let me cut down on the time That is an effective way of utilizing your tools. Okay, so that battle I'll show because I showcased how you can defeat four enemies in a single strike. I want to see if the enemies here have respawned. They have not, so this was a specific styled room. The enemies coming out of the jail cell were a specific enemy. And we are back here. Now we are going to call this an episode soon, but first we have another cracked wall here. Let's drop a bomb. And right back here is that treasure chest. Refund! Do 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 do. Now does that count as actually leaving the fortress? 
It does not. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. You have to actually go outside of the Koopa Bro Fortress area. So, with that, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Paper Mario. Next time, we are going to ascend the rest of Koopa Bro Fortress, and if I'm lucky, we're going to actually get to Koopa Bros. The dungeons in this game is not that long. It's just a matter of do you know where you're going? Do you know what you're doing? And are you strong enough to take on the enemies? If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!